Make no mistake, Virginians remain resilient with that tenacity and grit and undeterred hope and optimism to press through these challenges. We must venture forward because a new and better day is ahead of us. After all, we are Virginians whose leaders gave birth to this most exceptional nation the world has ever known. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, well, as you very well know, have you seen the news? A new day has dawned here in the state of Virginia. Uh, yesterday, we uh, had our new governor sworn in. His name is Glenn Youngkin. And this is a new dawn, a new era in the history of this great state of Virginia. For in Glenn Youngkin, we have finally the governor that can make changes and the governor that we need and the governor that this state wants. So we are looking forward to uh, six years of Governor Glenn Youngkin to make Virginia great again. Well, it's gonna snow today, so I didn't want to risk driving. So I am taking the metro, as you can see. Metro is pretty empty this morning. I think it's been pretty empty for a long time because of the lack of trains and the pandemic and all that. So I'm sitting on an empty train. Not completely empty, there's a couple of people in front of me. As you can see. But pretty much empty. metro again after a while. I haven't taken the metro in maybe four or five months now because I've been driving to work but now I'm taking the metro again. I just thought I'd take the metro because it's gonna snow today and I didn't want to risk driving because I have a new car and I don't know how it'll behave in the snow. My old car was pretty good in the snow but not sure about my new car. All right so let's go. I need my card. I need my metro card, dude. Here's my metro card. We got the new turnstiles now, huh? Yep. We got the new turnstiles and... But the service is still pretty much just crappy as before. All right, let's go upstairs and brave the weather. Right now it's not snowing yet, it's just raining. But they say it's going to turn into snow in a couple of hours, so I didn't want to risk it. But as you can see, the streets of D.C. are pretty empty right now. A lot of people are still working from home, and because of the pandemic, they don't want to come in. They can work from home if they want to. And also, the weather is bad, so I guess people are staying home today. Some of the schools are closed because of the weather and uh, the federal government is liberal leave policy. So a lot of people who would come in probably are not coming in. But I'm coming in because I have a lot of things to do today. It's a quiet day in Washington, DC. It's quiet and slow day, and as you can see, it's raining. And uh, ordinarily, if it's snowing, I really would hesitate to come in, but since there's a lot of stuff I need to do, I have to come in. But it's pretty quiet in downtown DC right now. And, uh, you know, I like it when it's quiet like this. It reminds me of, you know, the quiet of the uh, lockdown. Where is the snow? There's no snow. Where is it? Where? Well, it's lunchtime now and it didn't snow after all. So I could have driven into work after all that instead of taking the metro. Yep, I could have driven into work today. Now I have to take the metro back. Because the only reason I took the metro was uh, they said it was going to snow. And I didn't want to drive in the snow, so I took the metro. But then it didn't snow. 
that was that. Oh well, I'm going off to lunch. Uh, I have a hankering for some Filipino spaghetti, so I'm gonna get some Filipino spaghetti. Here near uh, the circle, where Vermont Avenue and Rhode Island Avenue uh, converge here. That white building there, that's the Washington, Washington Plaza Hotel. It was built in the uh, late 60s. It's been around 50 years now, I guess. Washington Plaza Hotel. We're not going there though, we're going down, we're going down Vermont Avenue. This is Vermont Avenue. And uh, the street over on the other side is is 14th Street. It's the corner of 14th and Vermont. Right there. All right, that's the way I like it. Just come in, pick it up and leave. That's the best, really. I got my lunch. Right there. And now I'm on my way back. That's the way I like it. Nice and quick. As you can see nobody's eating outside today because it's cold. Yeah, usually in the summer or, you know, when it's warmer, I like to eat out here, out on the street, but not today since it's kind of cold. So I'm going to be taking my, my food back to my, uh, my office and eat it there. This is called the Lincoln Cafe. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Well, it is now the end of the day and it never snowed. Where's all the snow? They predicted snow, but it didn't snow. That is why I had to take the metro instead of driving. I could be driving right now, but instead I'm heading to the metro station to take the metro. And the metro takes a little bit longer these days because they pulled all the trains out of service because of the derailment, which was already like a few months ago now. So I know I'm gonna have to wait at the metro station for at least 20 minutes for a train, all because it didn't snow. Oh well. card again and as you can see if you notice they got new turnstiles they spent the money on new turnstiles all right let's go let's get out of here well that's my metro ride for today folks i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like this video and maybe if you liked it enough Maybe you can subscribe as well. Well, as you can see, I'm the only one on the bus. But if you ride the bus the same day, because not everybody works all the time. So all the buses are uh, like the, the empty. Like, look at this, I'm the only one here. I got this bus all to myself. Well,
Well, I'm walking home. Usually I take the trail through the woods, but uh, it's too dark now and that trail is not lighted. So I'm afraid to take the trail now. So I'm taking the long way around through the, through the streets. Well, it's the next day and I'm having lunch at the pot belly as you can see. I'm having a skinny wreck, which is what I usually have over here. A wreck is like white bread with ham and turkey and bacon and I put on some mayonnaise in there just to, just to give it that tangy, tanginess. Something going on outside. I mean, look. See, there's this cop car blocking the way here. I think somebody's going to pass by. Or I don't know what's going on. But they're blocking off this whole street. See that? They're blocking off the street. These poor guys over here, they're gonna come back to their car. Or well, maybe they're not blocking the other side, just this side. So you can't go into the street. Hmm, I wonder why. I guess we'll find out maybe in a few minutes. What do you think is happening here? Look, they blocked off this whole part of the street. So anybody parked over here like these, they, they have to get special permission to get out to that part of the street or See, it's all the way, it's blocked all the way to the other side, as you can see. This whole block is, this whole part of the street is closed for some reason. I don't know why. Whew, it is freezing cold today. Freezing cold. I mean, like, biting cold. It must be like 15, 18 degrees out here. Freezing cold here in the city. And tomorrow is going to be even colder. Oh, man. It's only January. We still got... We still got uh, two or three months of this cold weather to go before it gets warm. Oh boy, such is life. Such is life living in a cold weather place. Okay, we're back at the ramen place. The ramen place. And uh, as you can see, I'm having some chicken miso ramen. And some coke. Take a look at it. That, huh? Mm, that's delicious. That is very good. It is a little spicy. Oh, that was good. Oh, spicy. Cleared the sinuses. Well, I have to go to TJ's for a little bit to buy some apples. Because it was right next door, so why not? Okay, now it's time to go to the barber shop or the salon to get a haircut. After my Japanese ramen lunch and uh, apples at TJ's, it's time to get some lunch, uh, a haircut. Let's go. All right, everybody, welcome back to Washington, D.C. Right now I am in downtown. I'm trying to find a, a place to photograph my latest helmet creation which is a Washington Redskins kind of hybrid uh, old school and old school combination helmet. And I'm looking for a place here in downtown to take photos of it. As you can see, it's right behind me, right there. It's in that big backpack right on my back, as you can see. Right now, I'm looking for a place to take photos of it. Nice photos, maybe a park or some kind of monument or something. Let's look around. Well, as you can see, we found ourselves in the park. And I think this is where I'm gonna take photos of my helmet. Maybe over here by the big, uh, by the big stat statue, a uh, sculpture. We have a couple of sculptures here that says, love and hate. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna take, a, take some video with my GoPro, just in case my iPhone doesn't work out. So, I could take a screen capture of that if necessary. Let's go around the helmet here. Here in the park in downtown Washington, D.C. This park is close to the White House. And that's it. Hail to the Redskins. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is my Washington Redskins. Uh, I call it like my hybrid logo helmet because it has the decal, the logo, 
of the old logo. This is the old Spear logo, which they wore between 1961 and 1968. And then the, the Indian head logo, which they wore between 1972 and 2020. And this is my creation. Isn't that cool? This is my latest custom Washington Redskin helmet build here at the park in Washington, D.C. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is my latest creation. This is a Washington Redskins uh, hybrid logo helmet. As you can see, I painted it a beautiful satin burgundy finish. Also with a burgundy face mask. I thought that would look good. And it's got all the nice... Oh, this is also a tribute to Sonny Jurgensen. That's his number on the back. Number nine, the great Sonny Jurgensen. Because Sonny Jurgensen wore uh, these two logos. This is like a combination of the two logos that they wore. This is the Spear logo. The Spear logo they wore between 1961 and 1968. And then the classic proud Indian head logo that they wore between 1972 and 2020 when they were victimized by cancel culture. <sighs> That's how it is. But we can all recollect those glory days of the past when the Washington Redskins were winners and they were winning championships and they were the best team in the NFL. And this is my tribute to those winning years. My Washington Redskins, Sonny Jurgensen hybrid uh, tribute helmet. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Hail to the Redskins. for this week uh, it's been long enough I think this vlog is about 20 minutes now so I think I'll end it right here so as usual if you, if you like this video please like it and if you like it enough to subscribe then please do subscribe uh, just click on the subscribe button below but uh, I will see you in my next vlog which is next week and then I will see you then okay bye Oh,